Friends, shalom. Rabbi Elliot Salo Schoenberg here. Good to be with you. Today is July 28th, and we are sandwiched in between yesterday, Thursday, being the saddest day on the Jewish calendar, Tisha B'Av, and tomorrow, Shabbat, we're reading Parshat Ve'etchanan, and we have the Shema and the Ten Commandments. Heavy duty, tragedy on one side, moral significance. On the other. So I thought I would take a more mellow, lighter touch today and talk about bagels, cream cheese, and lox, just for fun. Cream cheese was invented in upstate New York, um, late 19th century, early 20th century. Philadelphia cream cheese. Philadelphia is probably not named for the big city on the East Coast but for a small town in upstate New York. Cream cheese in the 1920s made its way down from upstate New York to New York City. And that's where Breakstones comes in and the family began to make cream cheese in Brooklyn and spread cream cheese among the Jewish people. And we connected cream cheese to lox. The salty lox was just modified enough by the sweet cream cheese to be the ideal partnership. And we have the blossoming of bagels, cream cheese, and lox. But it would not be sufficient for this Devar Torah for me to stop there, because there's also a Jewish value at play here. Until the 1930s, their major food of brunch on Sunday mornings was Eggs Benedict. What's Eggs Benedict? English muffin, hollandaise sauce, and ham. And Jews wouldn't eat it and couldn't be part of the Sunday morning brunch crowd. And so along came bagels, cream cheese, and lox, and we joined the Sunday morning brunch crunch crowd. So we became part of American culture, and it spread like wildfire. So enjoy your bagels, cream cheese, and lox, and remember, that it's also a way to be Jewish and be American at the same time. Something we always need to be mindful of. Shabbat Shalom.